Late night, I've been on my grind, running all my time, about to lose my mind. I said, hey, I, I could change your life. Give it one more night, give it one more try. Hey guys, it's Finn17 we're back in the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what to do in the Ultimate Freeze promo in Metal Ball 24. Before we do start, make sure to leave a like on the video, join my Discord server, link will be in the description, and let's try to get 100 likes on this video, that'd be awesome. And the post notification shout out, because of this person on the screen right there, thank you for having your post notifications on. If you guys do want a post notification shout out, make sure to be subscribed, have notifications on, be one of the first people to comment on one of my videos, and let's get straight into this, guys. So, uh, this is obviously uh, just the, you know, the common practices that you should do to get yourself one of these players. Uh, you know, not, I should say multiple of these players, hopefully. Um, but starting off with the the map itself, you want to complete all these events, of course. Hopefully, you already have done that by now. Some of them are very cool uh, to play through. And then once you get to this last one, if you can't get to the last one, this one is fine if you want rewards because it gives you 40 for the last one. So you might want to do that. But if you're like me uh, and you have to boost, um, you know, to get yourself up here, you're going to want to focus on the last event right here. Now, I didn't have to boost a whole ton. I only boosted like... I'll show you guys what I boosted, actually. So, in weight room, 2%, 2%, 2%, 1%. So, it was almost like nothing to boost up. Um, but, basically, you want to focus on this last one. Uh, if not, do this one as well. Both are... Both give you good value for your stamina. You know, as you work your way down, it's, you know, not bad. Like, this would be the same value. 30 ultimate freeze tokens for 15 stamina. So, if you completed this twice, you get 60, which is directly matching this. This is the best one. There's not, like... I guess a single event you should focus on you should want to complete all of these every single uh day uh you know as many times as you can of course um and that's pretty much it for that that's the most self-explanatory part of it you obviously do want to use your tickets on the prize board as well to get yourself bonus rewards don't forget uh there is going to be i think more coming out on christmas and there's going to be different other ways to obtain them and uh you know that's pretty much it for uh that so yeah just bonus events and of course you do get a free epic i already claimed mine but uh very very nice right there and then moving on, you also have the presence. Now you, you do want to complete all of these achievements to get it. They should be pretty, you know, generally easy. And then you also get presents, you know, from the actual path itself as you complete it. You know, the path you can only complete once. But uh, yeah, you should have 11 presents in total. If you're not able to get to 4,075 overall, uh, you should be able to get 10 in total uh, right here. So yeah, I guess you'll just miss out on one orange present, which is kind of stupid by EA, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So once you have as many tokens, uh, you're going to want to do the five times player exchange again uh, right here. Again, it gives you the best value. And uh, unless you want to risk it, I never risk it with these because this only gives you one for 250, whereas this gives you five for uh, 465, you know, guaranteed on common players. You don't have a chance at anything, but I would definitely play it safe with these promos. And then moving on, do the player collector, of course, as I always do, uh, you know, if you do get select packs and stuff like that you can always select the one you need uh and you know make it easy on yourself but if you want to just do them fast just do the rare player i guess and then use the rare players to get epic players which should be you know pretty easy enough and then you're going to want to do the of course random if you want to get as much as you can if you're looking for someone specific obviously you're going to want to take a different practice and you know do the select here uh the epic select right here but i would never of course do the epic exchange uh the worst value you could do is is that but uh, that is pretty much it for that make sure to also use your legacy cosmetics here uh on everything uh you know that you can i don't believe you get a ton this uh pro i don't think you get enough for every single one of these so make sure to take advantage of the one uh you want and i guess the last thing i should mention is besides these achievements right here to give you some extra things right here make sure to complete all of them uh if you go to the store you do want to get yourself this pack every single day the 100 mana cash back i'll just do that right now so i can just get through the daily goal and uh, that is pretty much it uh last thing i guess i should mention is the event pass it's just bonus rewards i never buy these uh, i always just do the free one because it's you know bonus rewards hopefully you guys know about that by now you do get ultimate freeze packs and other program stamina and other currencies so make sure to complete that uh, as much as you can the way you get points is by daily goals or you could just i guess just buy them outright but i don't know why you'd ever do that uh for this maybe for the field pass but not for this but uh, that's pretty much gonna be it, guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one and peace out